Hey guys, Sonia here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you this canvas. This is a number canvas. This is a DIY Pottery Barn knockoff. Um, I've seen these number canvases at Pottery Barn, places like Kirkland's. Um, and this is a cheap and easy way to make this yourself. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy this. If you do decide to make it, please hashtag DIY with Tanya on Instagram or Twitter and let me see your creations. And please connect with me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter all at TanyaMarie715. Subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys next time. Bye! For this tutorial, you will need a canvas. This is a 16 by 20 you will need sticker numbers. If you do not have these and do not want to purchase them, I will show you a computer and printer method. You will also need paint. I am using Apple Barrel Antique White and True Navy. I am using a paint container and a sponge paintbrush. I like these for the canvases because they cover a lot of area without leaving a lot of stroke marks. And then you'll want something to cover your surface as well. First thing I am going to do is take my Apple Barrel Antique White Paint. I'm going to put it into my paint holder, my paint container. And I am going to paint that all over the top and sides of our canvas. This will be our base color. And canvases all, often have lots of little extra pieces of like fuzz and stuff on them. You can just pick them off with your finger. top of our canvas is dry. We want to go ahead and paint our sides. I like to paint these sides sideways and these sides up and down just to match the flow of the canvas. canvas is dry. I am working the canvas horizontally. Um, oops. So you just want to start placing your numbers onto your canvas. The numbers I am going to be using are these big numbers from the Mambi Sticks um, Me and My Big Ideas collection. Also using the numbers from the Recollection stickers. Um, doesn't say what they are, but that is how they look. Also, going to be using numbers from the Remarks collection. 
I think these are from Hobby Lobby. No, maybe they're from Michaels. I can't remember. These are all from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And then I'm also using numbers from this Recollections um, font. Okay, so to make numbers using the computer, you want to open a Microsoft Word or Microsoft Works document. You want to type in a number. So I'm using the number one, and you want to make it bigger. I'm going to make it 40, well, I'm make it 72. And then you can make it even bigger than that. And then you want to find a font that you like that you will be able to cut out once you print it. So I'm going to go with this one and make it bold so it's fatter. And I am actually going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. So you can make them as big or small as you want. So we could go even like 150 size. You could take up the whole page. Um, and once you print this, you're going to go ahead and print this. You can put all the numbers on one or two pages, however you want to do it. You're going to go ahead and print it. And then you're going to put the tape to the back of the number that you printed and stick it down on your canvas. And that will be how you will use your numbers. So I'm just going to start placing numbers all over my canvas. So I'm going to start this one and just kind of place it where you want. You can do them sideways. Any way you want. Just keep placing your numbers all over the canvas. Okay, so this is looking pretty good to me. You guys can fill in as many or as little amount of numbers as you would like. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my navy paint and we are going to paint over this whole canvas. Once you're happy with where all of your numbers are placed, you're going to go ahead and take your top color, which I'm using that true navy, and paint over the top. And we're going to paint the top and then we're going to paint the sides also. dry and then we'll come back and we will paint the sides okay we're gonna go ahead and paint our sides using the same method I used earlier to paint the antique white I'm just painting down the top like this and you'll get some edging here so just kind of um, even it out blend it out I guess you could say dry and we will come back and remove our numbers and we will be done with our canvas. Okay so now that your canvas is dry you want to go ahead and start removing your numbers. Um, I will be reusing these numbers so I will place them back onto their sticker packs but to save time I'm just going to remove them now and replace them later. So just carefully start removing your numbers. It's really cute. It would make a great gift. Um, perfect for Christmas, coming up, birthdays, anything like that. You can play around with the colors and do it to your liking. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.